Hello everyone. What I want to do uh, in this video is go over 2117 since this is um, similar to uh, one of the collected homeworks. So at an effective annual interest rate of I, both of the following annuities have a present value of X. A 20-year annuity immediate with annual payments of $55 and a 30-year annuity immediate with annual payments that pays 30 for the first 10 years, 60 for the second 10 years, and 90 for the final 10 years. Calculate this common present uh, value. Okay. Okay. Uh, so, um, yeah, let's just draw the two time diagrams. And, um, yeah, so let's get to it. And we'll see what happens here. Okay, so for A, it's a little simpler. So it's, um, yeah, 55, uh, $55 for the first 20 years. So if it's not clear, uh, this means uh, for the first 20 years, it's 55. And then after for the next 10 years, it's, it's nothing. Right. Okay, so uh, we have a 20 year, well, really I'll just draw it as a 30 year time diagram. All right, so uh, we have 55, 55, 55, and it's an annuity uh, immediate. It's part of the uh, problem. Uh, so it's 55 here. Okay, so just like uh, we've done before, I'm going to break it up into two annuities, let's take the present value of this first. And then we'll take the present value, um, I'll use green, I guess, of this right here. That starts at t equals 10, it's an annuity immediate. So we have it starting at t equals 10. So that payments are at the end of each uh, period. All right, so this is 55 a 10 i. We don't know what the uh, what i is, effective annual interest rate, but that's okay. Plus, so that's just the present value of this here. So when we use our present value formula, this gives me the present value at t equals 10. We don't want it at t equals 10. Okay. So, um, right, so right here, 55, 10i, and we have to discount it by, uh, by 10 years. So I don't have enough room, but uh, discount it by 10 years just means it's multiplied by one plus i to the minus 10, or one over one plus i this. All right, so that is the present value uh, for uh, A. So not too bad. B really isn't that much harder. Uh, just one more uh, term to deal with. Zero, one, Nine, 10, 19, 20, 9, 30. Okay, so for B, um, yeah, it's 30 per year for the first 10 years.
don't really need nine. Don't really need 19. So 21 here. Okay, uh, for the next 10 years, it's uh, 60 and then 90. So 60. Oh, uh, well, yeah, I don't really need that. The same concept, we just break it up into um, three annuities. Right. And we're doing it this way so that I'm breaking. So, so usually I wouldn't break this up into two annuities. Maybe I should make that clear. Normally, I would not break this up into two annuities, uh, but I'm going to break it up into two annuities so that I can divide by a common A10I throughout. Uh, otherwise, I just wouldn't be able to do that. In particular, because in this example here, I have to break it up into three annuities. Each one is going to involve A10I because I have three separate payments. Otherwise, I just wouldn't be able to I, you know, really to, to get the present value of this, you have to break it up into uh, three annuities. All right, so um, I don't know, I'll do purple for the first one. I'll do uh, orange. Second one, and let's do black for uh, the third one. All right, so uh, yeah, this first one simple 30A10I. Okay. The next one, like before, is going to be uh, 60A10, but that gives me a present value at T equals 10. So I have to discount it by um, uh, 10 years. So it's 60. A10, I, I minus 10. Okay. And same concept here. Uh, it's 90, A10, I, but that's the present value of T equals 20. So discount it by 20. Uh, years. Okay, so these are the present value of these two annuity immediates. So we set them to be equal. So I'll just use red here. So 55 a 10 i plus 55 a 10 i 1 plus i to the minus 10 equals um, 30 a 10i plus 60 a 10i 1 plus i to the minus 10. So I should say the homework is going to be like this uh, except you're going to take the accumulate value Instead of present value, but same like same concept, uh, essentially. Okay, so first and foremost, um, yeah, uh, let's cancel out an A ten I everywhere. And uh, let's just divide everything by five, make life a little easier. All right, so that says 11 plus uh, 11. And let's set this to be X. This is X. 
And this is x squared. I take one plus i to the minus 10, I square it, I get minus 20. Okay. So this is 11 uh, x. equals uh, six plus six X plus uh, second 90 over five is uh, 18. So it's gonna be 18 uh, X squared. But, all right, so we have a quadratic. Uh, zero is um, minus five. Second, uh, up here. Uh, yeah, sorry, 60 over five is not six X. 60 uh, X over five is 12. That should be 12 here. Yeah, 60 over 5 is 12. So, so minus 5 uh, plus x plus um, 7 x squared is going to be uh, 0. Okay, so use the quadratic formula. It's negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac. So it's 4 times 5, 4 times minus 5 times 7. And that's uh, 20 times 7. 140. Uh, second, make sure this is right. Um, yeah, sorry, it's 18x squared. So 18 here. Sure, why I'm making these errors. I had plenty of coffee today, but anyway, that's right. Um, so this is over 2a, so it's 2 times 18. Okay, uh, so 4 times 5 times 18. Right, so this is going to be 361 inside the square root, so it's minus 1 plus or minus square root of 361, I'm um, sorry, 19 over 36. So uh, notice that the problem says I is positive and X is one over one plus I uh, to the 10th. So in fact, X, well, X has to be positive here. So we're going to throw out uh, in particular. So yeah. I positive or not, uh, X is positive because we're taking one plus I, one over one plus I to the 10th, that's always positive. Okay. So we get rid of the uh, minus, so X can't be negative. So this is just going to be 18 over 36 is one half. All right, so this means I is going to be, normally it would be plus or minus, if you solve for I, because uh, when you take one over to the 10th, the 10th makes plus or minus a positive, but we only want I positive. So um, yeah, so I is going to be uh, 0 0.07177. 
Okay, so it's easiest to, I would say, plug into this here. Um, so in particular, so this is going to be 55 a 10.07177 plus 55 a 10.07177 times 1.07177 to minus 10. And you do this, you're going to get 574. 73. So again, this is similar to uh, the, the problem four, um, at least for summer 2020, 2022, uh, problem four uh, in the homework. Uh, there actually you do not need to use quadratic formula. Uh, it just turned out that when, when it turned out that way when I wrote the problem, I don't feel like rewriting it. Um, but all right, hopefully this helped. Uh, and um, yeah, hopefully this helps for uh, homework for problem four. Right, so long, take care. Um, enjoy the 4th of July weekend. Uh, and um, yeah, all right, take care, bye-bye.